Hey, fourth and fifth graders, how are we today? I hope you're doing well. Today, I'm gonna to explain our comparison nature journal activity. So all you need for this is your nature journal or science notebook. If you have your magnifying lens, go get that, and a pencil. If you have a ruler, that's really helpful too. So what you're going to do is the first thing is you're going to find two weeds or two plants that are about the same size and somewhat similar, but they're different, okay? And you wanna pull them by the root and get way down in there with your fingers and pull them by the root, okay? Our focus question is how are these plants the same and how are they different and why? We're going to try to infer why. Our goal is to record observations and ideas, not just to draw pretty pictures. And our observations should have words, pictures, and numbers, all right? So when you start your nature journal, I'm gonna show you a quick diagram and then I'm gonna show you my nature journal. You can start by making a T-chart across two pages and have plant one and have plant two. Now, when we compare plants, so we're gonna have the leaf, we're gonna have a stem and we're gonna have roots. Okay, so first you might want to compare, compare stem, okay, or excuse me, the roots, and notice the roots. Then compare the stem and then compare features of the leaves, okay? So for example, I noticed that on these roots, I drew these, that this one right here, this uh, weed, the root is very straight and long, where this one it's curvy and short and it's also thicker. As far as the stem goes, or the, the stem that runs up the plant, this right here has a stem. This one really doesn't have much of one, okay? These are very simple. These leaves are furry and thorny and these feel smooth. When I used my, micro, my magnifying lens though, I looked at these, you can see that, Kind of cool. I noticed that these actually are a little bit fuzzy also. I didn't notice that until I looked at my magnifying lens. Now, this is my nature journal, and you can see what I did. I actually took this, it's kind of wilted now, and I laid it, and I did a little bit of tracing so I could get the exact size. I noticed and I measured that this root was 6.2 five centimeters and this root the curl one was only 2.5 okay I measured this plant what was 12 this plant was 12 centimeters tall where this one was the same length as the root so the root on this plant matched the length of the plant and the root on this one was much shorter than the plant I did try to get the whole root they were about the same color Okay, but this plant was really interesting. This is the one that had the thorns. Whoops, that was this one here. Had the thorns, all right, and things like that. So I'm not quite finished with my nature journal. I need to spend some more time uh, looking at the details, but those are some of the things I got. Uh, let's see, anything else? Okay, I also put that these veins were a lot harder to see. Then I'm going to infer why I think that happens. And this is what you're gonna answer in Google Classroom, okay? So in Google Classroom, you're gonna answer this question. You can also answer it right here. I'm gonna also answer some questions right here. What well, I'm not ans answer, I'm gonna ask some questions. What are some of the questions I have? Like I'm wondering why this plant has such a long root. I'm wondering if it likes water and it goes way down for the water. And this one only maybe grows in the springtime when there's water at the surface and that's why the root's not as long. These are some reasons why I think it might be true what I already know. All right, have a great day. Enjoy, go get your plants and we'll talk to you later. Bye guys.